Hi guys, so I'm back and today I wanted to make a video discussing my personal experience being bipolar and pregnant. Um, this is just a disclaimer, I'm not the authority on bipolar disorder, I'm not the authority on mental illness, yada yada yada, don't come for me, okay? I'm talking about my personal experience, what I've gone through and what I'm choosing to do for my own health. So I have my notes, so if I look down that's why. So I was diagnosed with bipolar 2 um, about a year ago. Yeah, right about a year ago. It was between after I'd given birth to Kaya, but before I got pregnant with Alina. So while I was pregnant with Kaya, I was diagnosed with, bi not with bipolar. I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety and put on medications. However, those medications were not working. They were in fact making things worse. So after a few evaluations, they determined that I probably had bipolar disorder and put me on those medications. I was reluctant at first um, and I'll explain why. I have this clear recollection when I was bartending of there was a customer and we were talking, I don't even remember about what. I just know at some point he made the comment that bipolar people should not have children because they're passing that on. And at the time I was like, oh, that's kind of messed up, you know, but it didn't affect me personally. However, when I was told that I was bipolar and I was, the doctor recommended that I get on medication, at first I refused. At first I didn't want to do it. And that comment was a part of the reason why. So, um, so, you know, you gotta be careful. People need to be careful what they say. You know, like you don't know what affects somebody. You don't know who they are, what they're going through. You don't know anything, right? And that comment is part of the reason why I didn't want to get on medication. Um, because I was like, whoa, what if I am bad for having kids? Like, what if I'm passing this down? However, do your own research. I did my own research and found that when one parent is diagnosed with bipolar, the child's chances of becoming diagnosed with bipolar later in life runs about 10 to 25%. There is a genetic component that's undeniable, but it's not purely genetics because you have identical twins. One will be bipolar, one will not. So genetics do not determine everything. It's as far as I could tell, it's more of an epigenetic issue where genetics play a role, but your epigenetics, which is your like environment, your lifestyle um, triggers in your life, that's what determines whether or not you will, that gene will be turned on and you will become diagnosed with bipolar or not. That's my research. Again, don't come for me, do your own research. So, and eventually I did agree to start on the medication um, and it was life-changing. Oh my God. Once I started on it and realized how much better I was and how much easier everything was for me and just, it told, it taught me what normal was supposed to feel like, you know? And I realized like, man, if I had been diagnosed and put on this medication a decade ago, I would be in a totally different place in my life. Like I would have my degrees, I would be in a career, I would be doing all these things that I've dreamed of doing. Um, not to like blame bipolar for not getting things done, but it does play a role. It does play a role in my up and down and the way I'll start things and I don't finish things and the way I, I can like work so hard for something for so long and then I just throw it all out the window at, at the blink of an eye for no reason and just like crash and burn. And then I have to spend the next however many months or years rebuilding, you know? And it's just such a up and down process. You know, you take five steps forward, 10 steps back. And now that I'm on the medication, I've realized, you know, this is how things are supposed to be. I'm much more motivated. I'm much more steady in my intentions. Like, of course, there's still a little variation, but I'm much closer to like the baseline emotionally of like, I can stick to my goals. I'm motivated. I can keep going. Um, my lows are not as low and my highs are not as high. They're much more middle ground. So being bipolar while pregnant, um, sometimes it can be hard because you don't know the difference between is this like pregnancy hormones affecting me or is it my medication or whatever. They actually had to increase my dosage earlier on in this pregnancy um, because it wasn't working as well. And then now that I am, I'll be nine months next week. So about a, three weeks ago, they tried to reduce my medication because we were trying to get it to the lowest level possible before giving birth just because the baby does have risk of withdrawal. That is a risk. However, the particular medicine I'm on, quetiapine, quetiapine, I don't know how you say it, but the medicine that I'm on right now, it um, is recommended for if you're gonna be pregnant and breastfeeding. That's why they chose this specific medicine in my case, because I informed them that I was planning on getting pregnant and I did wanna breastfeed when I got pregnant. So the medicine I'm on is safe for all that, so that's good. But there is still that risk that the baby comes out with a little bit of withdrawal symptoms. You know, it goes away in a day or two, it's taken care of in the hospital, it's not the end of the world, but obviously it's not ideal, you know, like ideally I want to be on the minimal dosage possible so that the baby has less chance of coming out like that. So they reduced my dose. That did not work out. <laughs> I could not handle it. I was doing, I was barely scraping by. I was doing the bare minimum. So last week they bumped me back up. I'm still not back to that original high dose, but I'm kind of in the middle, like halfway there. 
and this seems to be working for me. Um, it's not working as well as the high dose, but it's tolerable. I can push through, I can do it. So, and I guess one thing I've noticed is that just my parenting has gotten a lot better since being medicated. Um, and not that it was bad when I wasn't medicated, you know, like I'm still gonna get up, I'm still gonna clean, I'm still gonna make sure they get to where they need to go and I'm gonna cook and I'm gonna do all the things. But there are times when I'm just doing the bare minimum, you know, and I don't wanna do the bare minimum, I wanna do the most. And with the medication, I feel like I'm much more consistently able to do the most. It's not like I have like a few weeks where I'm doing all these amazing things and then I drop and suddenly I'm like barely scraping by, you know, cause that's, that's not good, right? Now I wanna talk about now that I know I'm bipolar and I'm having children, like I said, the risk of your child being diagnosed with bipolar disorder if you are is like approximately 10 to 25% based on the numbers that I found in my research. Um, but I feel like my attitude towards that is not that, oh, I should just not have kids because there's a 10% chance they could come out with bipolar disorder. That's not the attitude I'm taking. I'm taking a proactive approach because I know now that I'm, and I'm glad that I got diagnosed. So now that I know I'm bipolar, I know to take preventative steps for my children. I know to be proactive about their mental and emotional health, to watch for all the signs. I've already done my research on, I mean, bipolar doesn't generally come out in children as often, but even if it does, you know, I wanna know the signs, I wanna be aware. And I'm very proactive about, you know, what they're eating and their lifestyle and their, what they're exposed to. You know, I've cleaned up our diet during this pregnancy. I've really gotten into clean eating, organic. You know, we don't eat out as much anymore. And I've cleaned up all our products. Like I've switched all of my bath products out and all of our personal care products out for like cleaner, less toxic versions of everything. So, you know, just doing the changes I can. Does that guarantee my children are not going to be diagnosed bipolar in the future? Of course it doesn't. Nobody can guarantee that. Even if I wasn't bipolar, I could not guarantee that my children would not be diagnosed bipolar at some point in their life. That's impossible. It's always a possibility. However, what I can do is be proactive with, like I said, I'm focusing on the factors that I can control. I cannot control their genetics. That's, they got it from me. It is what it is. I can control what they eat. I can control how much processed food they ingest. I can control how much sunlight they get every day. I can control how much exercise they get every day, you know? And so those are what I'm focusing on. And also just really educating myself on how to talk to children at, at an age appropriate level for understanding their emotions and really watching out for red flags and signs that if I see a red flag or if I feel like we might be going in a certain direction, I can get them into therapy immediately. I can get professional help early. Don't wait till it becomes like a full blown obvious problem before you ask for help. And that just comes from being aware, like just being aware that they could have my issues and being aware that I have the issues that I have, you know? <laughs> but outside of that, you know, it doesn't really affect, I don't see why it affects, I don't understand the comments of people saying like, you're bipolar, you shouldn't have children. I mean, I see it with other disorders too. Like I see it with other mental disorders, with physical disorders, um, with developmental disorders. And I see people, you know, people are cruel on the internet saying you shouldn't have children because your ch child could have this. I'm not gonna not have children because of that. Like I said, if anything, it just makes me more aware. I'm gonna be proactive. I'm gonna be knowledgeable and I'm gonna stay on top of things and I'm gonna do everything I can to support them. And A, per, you know, hopefully, prevent them from having any sort of mental struggles and b if they do come out with them i would hope that since they i'm open with my kids about taking medication by my medication so they if later in life they are diagnosed with anything maybe they can look at me as the example of i'm always taking my medication i'm staying steady and i'm doing my treatment plans and i'm keeping up with my doctor's appointments so that way hopefully they would do the same thing they would be more inclined to follow their own treatment plans more closely and listen to their doctors Outside of that, there's nothing else you can do, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. I wanna have more children. I'm going to have more children. And I know there are people that don't agree with that. So who are gonna say in the comments like, oh, you're bipolar, why are you still having children and putting them into the world and putting them at risk? Blah, 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 blah. I don't wanna hear it. So I just wanted to get on here and make this video because I know personally when I went on YouTube and searched up um, bipolar pregnancies, um, I saw a lot of videos from like medical professionals about the medical side of things, but I didn't really see any personal testimonials like this. I didn't really see anyone just getting on it talking about things and about how it feels and how sometimes other people are gonna judge you for it. And you know what? Let them do whatever they wanna do. They can't stop me. So that's all I really had to say today. This is a short one. I just wanted to put it out there. You know, it is what it is. I got what I got and we're gonna keep going. Yeah, I feel like it's, I mean, I understand not everyone wants to be open about their mental like struggles but personally I'm extremely open about it I have no problem talking about it so if you feel like talking or you want to say something go ahead the comments are open and if you're just gonna hate on me you, you can go ahead and do that too because I'm just gonna ignore you I have a few videos that I need to edit and put up um I know I haven't posted much in the last month like, again like 
like I said, they adjusted my medication and I was like at the bare minimum of my <laughs> ability to do anything. But I feel like I'm back on track. They've upped my dosage. I'm feeling better. I'm sleeping better. And hopefully we'll have some videos made here in the next couple of weeks. Other than that.